Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Sodi and today I'll be showing you how to install Firebug and Firepath in Firefox browser. These are the two uh, extensions which can be only used on Firefox browser and why we need these uh, once we start automating our scripts in that case we need these extensions to find the components the objects on the web page and we can get the ID or class name and whatever we are looking for with this simple extension so uh, you need to install Firefox if you don't have Firefox uh, please go ahead and inst install it first and uh, on my machine I've already installed so I'm just going to open it right now and uh, you simply click on this menu bar on the right side and once you click on that you need to click on the add-ons button so under here you will uh, go under extensions and in the search bar just type fire bug and press enter and you will see the first extension it's called firebug and you simply click on install button now this extension has been added to our firefox browser now we need another extension it's called firepath i'll explain you the difference between these two but let's just simply go ahead and install it right now so I'll install this one as well and I'll just close my browser since it requires a restart to use this extension. So now when I click on Firefox browser, we already have these extensions installed. Now let's go to our website apartments.com and let's say you have to automate the apartments.com website and you, you want to search the property of this search box. It's very simple now you just right click over here and you will see two options one is inspect in firepath and the other one is inspect element with firebug so let's start with inspect element with firebug so you click on inspect element with firebug and you will notice quickly it takes you to the uh, object information and the component information on the web page so now if you have to automate this part the search area so you know it has its uh, input type and the ID is quick search lookup and if you hover your mouse over it also highlights on the browser so this way you identify the name or ID or class of the object simply by right clicking on the object and clicking on inspect element with firebug and this is a one way to identify object now uh, in advance automation scripting you actually might not want to use id or name since it might change frequently depends on the application so the other um, advanced feature you can use is to locate the object is just simply right click now this time we will use inspect in firepath so the difference between these two is the fire path actually generates the X path. So the X path is basically the location of the component which we are going to automate. And you simply copy this, uh, copy the name, uh, this X path, and you can just paste it somewhere on your notepad just for the, just to save somewhere. And then once you start writing your automation script, you simply will be using this xpath in your script and um, it's so simple to use so you just click right click and you just say inspect in firepath so firepath is basically nothing but it generates a xpath for you for the object so you can do with any object on the page so let's say you want to do for go button you just right click on the go button and you click inspect in firepath and you already have this Xpath generated which you will be using in your automation script that will be covering in our later session But today I just wanted to show you These two simple extensions which you can use to identify components on the website which you'll be using to automate and uh, It's very simple as I showed you it's just right click on anything and you just click either with firebug or inspect in firepath that's all guys thank you so much for watching